Hi, uh, today I'm going to talk about Ember Power Select. Ember Power Select is an add-on I built uh, recently and uh, was a source of inspiration for many patterns I discovered. It's also a talk about composing components because it's the pattern I use for building this and the pattern I wanted to enable with this add-on. This is going to be a light coding talk, most of it, but I have a few, a few slides. And besides, I have no uh, plan B, so if <laughs> I don't, I mean, everything is going to be done by scratch. From scratch, I'm going to create a new component within 10 minutes, and it has to work. Uh, uh, my, you can find me on Twitter or GitHub under these uh, nicknames. And the first question is why? Why I wanted to build yet another select component? And the reason is I look at the existing, at the landscape of existing uh, components for Ember, um, select components for Ember, and I found these problems. Uh, most of them, if not all, were wrappers around jQuery libraries. jQuery libraries has been there forever, and they have a lot of acquired knowledge, so it's valuable to reuse this knowledge, but still you have been limited by the jQuery's, the jQuery API surface which is not very friendly for our, for, to the declarative way of building UIs in Ember. So they are, they are not idiomatic to use. They are tricky when you want to use them with uh, Ember data collections because they are not plain arrays. The uh, Ember data collections can mutate. And the amount of glue code you need to put in your add-on to wrap your jQuery library happens to be usually bigger than the amount of code you need to write to build something to, from scratch. And also, if you want to customize, and was my need, I, wanted to, uh, I needed to customize my selects quite a lot. It's just not possible. They usually, they are what I call monolithic black boxes. Your add-on, I mean, the, um, the, jQuery, the jQuery library is a black box, and you need to take, uh, take it or leave it. Pattern I call the large monolith with an army of options. <laughs> this is uh, the kind of components where you have a huge API with a lot of configuration to move things around or tweak every single detail, and you need a 20 pages manual to know how to use something. That makes me very sad. <laughs> and we know better when it comes to create components. We have very, very good APIs in Ember and very good uh, surface for using the template to compose uh, your, your UI. That's why I build Ember Power Select. You can find it on emberpowerselect.com. And I built this add-on with composition. So my idea with build, for building components is you should take a small, fine-grained focus components and build them or, or put them, play level with them so you can build your complex UI from very small and very focused uh, uh, co uh, components. So if, if this is a real example. The Ember Power Select with multiple selection is basically a particular case of, um, uh, of the Power Select. Power Select is built over another add-on of myself called Ember Basic Dropdown. That is just a trigger that opens a floating box and knows how to position this box absolutely uh, over below the, the trigger. And this thing, this aut uh, automatic positioning is done with Ember Wormhole. So you can render part of your UI in another uh, DOM element, usually on the root of the page. And it's also built for composition because I want to allow people to use my add-ons and compose their own specific version of my add-on for fulfill their needs. Because uh, assume it, you cannot, you cannot prevent or foresee all the needs of your users so you need to enable them to modify your component. That's an example of how the company is organized. If you look at uh, any, any piece of UI, this is an example, you can see that it is chunks of the UI with different uh, needs and different uh, behaviors. In a select component, basically, you have as the main areas the trigger, which is the box on the top, and the list of options. And apart from that, you also may consider the content of the trigger uh, another component. The theme, you may have uh, another slot before the list because you may want to add a, a search box there. 
another below the list, in this case it's empty, but you could add something there. And each option of the list is also a component or a block you can pass. Let's see, or I want to demonstrate how to build a, a select that allows you to, with drag and drop, sort the options within 10 minutes. I have no backup plan, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, that's it. So let's go into create a new Ember project. So it's going to be an add-on. So uh, Ember uh, add-on em Ember power se select. I'm going to call it sortable. I have local npm. Let's see if it works. Less. Okay. There we are. Installing yet. I'm going to go here. This is the application SBS of my add-on because I want to try to use it and and show how I evolve the, the add-on into the final result. This is taking a while because it's you know npm <laughs> installing. It's big enough. OK. <coughs> That's the biggest NPM chunk you're going to see. The rest is quite fast. <laughs> Any joke? <laughs> Not about NPM. <laughs> we have SL. Sorry? We have SL installed. SL? It's a steam locomotive. No. <laughs> installed packages. You can install it by a blue wire NPM installed. Oh, something went wrong. Uh, <laughs> it's because the Wi Fi network doesn't allow SSH or something like that. Okay, so the network doesn't allow the protocol that some of the packages are using, right? Uh, but let me see. Alas. Alas. No. What is going on? Um, if you go to emberlondon.com slash speaker guidelines, there's that little snippet of. Um, there. If you get forward slash speaker guidelines, it's not linked anywhere. Okay. The speaker. Hi, there it is. And then scroll down a bit, like get, get there. Let's see. But I don't know. Is this thing trying to push to Git? It's just. I think it's just trying to. No, SSH is generically blocked. Okay. On that network. So. All right, now you change the person. Pa 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 It should be faster now. Uh, no, because I want. Uh, everything was casual in theory, so oh. it should be <laughs> equally slow. <laughs> the power of technology. Well, Jamie, I say 25 minutes probably. So a few. <laughs> Let's try. Oh. SL. Yes. It'll be faster, won't it? Well, let's see. What is SL? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> now do man SL. Oh, minus A. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> choo choo. Oh, there's people. Look at this. <laughs> You know, NPM is the new, I, it's compiling of the modern era. <laughs> ah, Bauer, that's good. Yes, we have this. Alas, so let's see the, into the folder, I split the string again. And first of all, this is going to be an add-on over an add-on, so I need to install the original one. Uh, Ember install, sorry, install, uh, Ember power, Select and I want to install the latest beta, so 
0.8.0-beta.7, I think. I like betas. It's good for people not yelling at you because you break things. OK, and uh, now yes, MRS. This should be quick. Look a host. Please work. There we are. So first of all, I want to use the component, uh, the basic one. So I'm going to do, uh, is this going to, uh, well, obviously, if you want to sort options, it has to be a multiple select for having more than one. So uh, M, uh, power select multiple options equals options, why not? Selected equals selected. And on change, which is the only actions uh, we care about, we're going to uh, do an action that is going only to mutate the selected value. So mute selected. This is going to yield each option of the, uh, of the collection. I'm going to call it number or num. Uh, multiple. And in here, we are going to just put the num because it's going to be a string, and I don't need to do anything with that. Uh, I also want to ember g controller application because I want to define this data application controller. And uh, options is going to be an array with uh, one, two, Three, four, Sorry. and yeah, seven, seven. <laughs> Why not? And let's see. OK, we have a multiple select working. That's nothing fancy. Ah, yes, so very important. Uh, uh, Oh, much better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, oops, you know, everybody. Uh, so what we want to do is basically drag and drop this thing and reorder this, the options. And this component, as I show in the presentation, has some uh, slots you can personal, uh, customize. This one, the trigger, is the one I customize to add some kind of drag and drop functionality in there. So uh, I'm going to keep, sorry, um, I'm going to uh, add uh, here uh, an option. I'm going to call the trigger component is uh, power select sortable trigger. I'm going to render this component in the slot prepared for that. And it's going to replace the default behavior. So let's generate this add-on, this controller, this component, ember g component. Sorry, uh, copy, paste there. Install and trigger HBS. Are you going to do blah and see if it works? No. What's going on? I know what's going on. Uh, it happens with when you have an add-on that has to compile templates. You need to move. Uh, uh, HTML bars so the to the deb uh, runtime dependencies. Yeah. Sorry, um, package.json. So HTML bar has to be here. There. I probably need to restart. It's working. Basically, it's rendering my component that has some blur test text. So now I want to uh, give some functionality to this. The first, the first thing I can do is check how Ember CLI itself is built. Sorry, Ember CLI itself, Ember Power Select is built. Uh, because I'm using duck footing. So my component is built on top of my component. 
<laughs> the, the multiple version. So if I go to the templates of the multiple component, you see that there is a trigger, a custom trigger, which is this mark uh, markup. I want to copy it because mostly uh, most of it is fine for me. I copy it, I unpaste it. That's the markup I want. Um, this fails because uh, there is an, act an action search is not found. Uh, in the add-on itself, uh, if I look for trigger JS, the code of the component, not this, this, you see that there is some logic in this component, so I'm going to inherit from this in trigger.js. Instead of create an editing from Ember component, I'm going to import, I'm going to call it Ember power select uh, multiple trigger from, I'm sorry? Oh, thanks. I'm going to use how to complete, so it's wrong, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, and import it from Ember power select add-on components power select multiple trigger without the JS, I think. Let's see if it works. Mm. The add -on the part, uh, yes, add-on is not needed. And see if it works. Yes. So for now, we have the same thing we did, but with our custom component on top. So now is when we want to use something else to allow drag and drop. There is a very good add-on for that by Jamie, <laughs> and allows you to do, allows us to do this kind of drag and nice drag and drop thing. And that's I'm going just to copy the, to copy the example in the very readme and paste it and see if I can modify things a little. So we have a UL. Uh, I don't want any any list for it, for this. So empty tag name. I don't want any div, nothing. Uh, I want uh, to iterate over, uh, I call it selected. And I'm going to call this thing opt. You're missing ev, line two, selected. Oh, no, you're out, you're out. sorry. OK. And I want this class, because I want to reuse the class. Uh, this is a span. I want to keep the markup. Model item group. Uh, I don't really need a handle. I want to drag the thing with the entire element. And the rest of the component is something I can copy. Let's put it here. Uh, indent. Let's comment out the rest. And see if it works. Sortable group. Oh, because I, I never installed the add-on. So ember install uh, ember sortable. There. Restart. And see if this works. OK, let's select one element, another element, and drag it. Oh, I can drag only vertically. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, there is an option for that in here, because I don't know how this works, but Jamie, you do. And direction equals x. Am I right? I assume so. <laughs> <laughs> See? Lex one, two, seven. <laughs> and drag it. Oh, we are dragging. OK. And if I drop, nothing happens because I have no action for this drop event. Let's do it. I don't have a reorder <coughs> items, but I can add it. Action reorder items. And if I go to the trigger, uh, I close it, trigger.js, I'm going to add an action for this. Action, actions, uh, reorder item. Uh, if I'm right, this receives the items in the new order. And I just want to call the, the default behavior. So this uh, nested component receives uh, an object that contains the public API of the parent component. So I do this.get 
the select and, and then I call actions dot choose this thing choose and the items so now sort reorder items not oh, from yeah. there okay if I now I select th three items and I drag and drop whoa something went wrong <laughs> Mm, you know, this thing happens. As I said, I have no backup plan, so if you see something fishy, tell me, please. And if I <laughs> reorder, and items undefined, undefined. Okay, something is wrong in the template. Uh, item is option. And I'm pretty confident this is going to work now, so remove this thing, reload. One, two, seven, and it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's not done. Uh, let's add uh, another. I'm going, I, now I can, I'm confident I can remove this thing. <coughs> and uh, in the application SBS, I'm going to add a copy of this thing for reference. Here, here, and <coughs> uh, I don't want to customize this one. The one below is the new one. Sorry, um, they are both bound to the same value. Okay, that's working. This took uh, like five minutes, ten minutes, if it wasn't for uh, for npm. So uh, this is, is still not ideal because if you look in the template, if we look in the template uh, there, you have this wide thing because in every single call where you want to call this component, you need to specify, I want the trigger component to be the, this specific component I have. So let's create a new component that wraps this uh, usage and call it uh, uh, sortable. And basically, I don't want this. I want to be automatic. When I use this component, I always use the sortable behavior. And let's create this component. Ember G component, and, uh, power select sortable. There. I don't think I need this anymore. Need this. Uh, sortable HBS and in here I want from this component render a multiple select with my options so I want to compose this component uh, on top of ember power select multiple as I did before so I'm going to sorry um, here I copy this thing let me undo I want this no I want this I want here but uh, there is more options so probably I should enumerate every option in that the original component allows so I can have the very same interface the best way to do that is I go to the original one I check in the template of the component how I did it select <coughs> add-on templates uh, this one and basically copy all of this uh, it's just a list deal with it <laughs> where you want to uh, handle everything this is uh, probably on focus sorry on focus I don't I, I bypass everything on open and the, uh, the difference is that the trigger component will be trigger component that's fine but I want the trigger component to be this one here so I'm going to copy this thing delete this thing and in the or tab JS 
I'm just going to specify that the trigger component is always the same value. And tag name. I don't want this to be a have a wrapper tag. So if everything is working, this should be here. Sorry, um, I think I did some. Yes, power select multiple. I want this thing. Dash. Dash. And dash. Reload. I can drag and drop. Yes, I can drag and drop. So now we have this uh, nice interface that is exactly the same as the original component, except from the name of the component. And we have built within a few minutes a component that with a quite complicated behavior because there is, there is in the wild components that they are very good on a specific task, meaning being a select or being a drop, uh, drop and drop sortable thing. So we are taking advantage of this for our, uh, our benefit. So <coughs> let's re recap what we did. Why I think composition is awesome. First of all, we are standing on the shoulders of giants, meaning in this case Jamie, because Jamie built <laughs> a very big component for sorting things. I have no idea how it works and I don't care. I know it has a very nice declarative API in the template. I drag and drop things. And my component is very good at being a select, but has no idea how to sort things. We mix both and we have the desired behavior. We don't need to reinvent the wheel because Jamie, Jamie did, I did, someone else did Ember Wormhole, and I'm, thank, I'm very thankful, thankful for that. Another advantage of this approach for having very focused components uh, composed to create big, good experiences is that apart from not reinventing the wheel, you don't shift the wheel twice. If you are using, by example, uh, I think it's Ember model, you are already using Ember Wormhole. So your component <laughs> is using Ember Wormhole. This other component is using Ember Wormhole. You are using the exact same code, so you don't pay the, pay the price in the site of the application. Saying if you're using any sufi uh, sufici sufficiently big application, you are going to have a lot of components being used. Uh, and some of them may depend on the same packets, so you don't want this functionality to, to be repeated and the code to be twice in your payload. And you get more reliable, reliable results faster. We made this thing within a few minutes. Uh, it's, as rocket, it's as rock solid as Ember Power Select and Ember Soltable is on a standalone thing combined. This is the current structure. Power Select Sortable depends on Ember Power Select Multiple, that depends on Power Select, that depends on Brace Drop Down, that depends on Wormhole, and also uses Ember Sortable. And I, we did this with a few lines. Very little effort for very, good, for very good results within the time. So compose, start right now, create, it's what I call building blocks. Start creating add-ons that are very good at something. And when you want to create something uh, complex, mix and match, as long as the, your add-ons, the add-ons you are using, keep the public API consistent, you have free upgrades with no breakage, no breakage changes. You have the good part, every bug fix, everything for free on your, uh, on your add-on, and you don't need to care about uh, edge cases that someone else already covered. And that's it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> if we are on time, if we are on time, I like to first of all get at everything. <coughs> CI. Uh, live from Ember, London. Let's see if I can get push. Uh, yes, uh, GitHub. I'm going to deploy the. I release this thing live. So why not? A <coughs> uh, new repo. Power select. There is a few add-ons already. So uh, sortable. Okay. 
there. Create repo. Copy this thing. Oops. Push this thing. Works. Reload. And ember release. <laughs> yes, why not? And npm publish. See? No, but let me kill this. It's my local npm. I want to set the registry to the original one. And publish again. Cross fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Deploy. <laughs>